So if you haven't heard yet, Canon just released the ability to use a Canon camera on the computer as a webcam. It's a revolutionary software, but it's only for PC. I'm a Mac user, so I'm here today to show you how to ditch the capture card, and we're gonna do it all with just a USB-C cable, and we're gonna be doing it also, not only with Canon cameras, but also with the Sony a7 III, one of the most popular cameras today. Let's get it. So today we're gonna to be utilizing two different softwares. One is called Cam Live, and the other one is called Cam Twist. We're gonna download both of those, and we're gonna get started right now with me sharing my screen. So let's get into it. So here we are on github.com and it's a community of developers that create some really cool software and development projects for us to use. Um, I'm gonna have the link below of how to get to the first link you will need and that is Camera Live. Camera Live um, basically makes it to where the camera's data can flow through that USB-C and it can be connected to a siphon that we'll use through Cam Twist. What? Now, all of that was Greek, but we're going to go by it. We're going to go through this step by step so that you know exactly what I'm talking about and exactly how to do it. So it's pretty simple from here. Link, in, link, link is below on how to actually uh, download it and all that good stuff. I'll give you the direct link. But all we would do is come in here, look at the releases, pick the most recent release um, with the most commits. Um, if you're somebody who wants to see the latest technology from this, you can go with one with several commits and all that good stuff. Um, but just for um, the latest release, I would just do a solid build. So I'd probably do build 11 and you would just click on that and download it here where it says camera.live zip. Once you download that, open the zip file, go through the process of opening it. You might have to tinker with some things and some permissions in your system preferences to allow the camera live process to work perfectly. Next, we will go to Cam Twist. So Cam Twist will allow the ability for that camera to be seen as a webcam option. So it's extremely important. So all we have to do is go to the website and we'll download it right here where it says download now. So we'd click that, download it. I'm not gonna go through the process, but it's a pretty uh, common uh, software downloading process. So just download it, go through it again. Um, if you have a Mac, you're probably used to these processes. Again, you'll have to go in system preferences and you will have to allow certain things to be able to get the full up and running uh, software. But nevertheless, we're gonna jump into putting all of this information together so that we can really see how this thing works and we can really get what's going on and everything that I just explained. First things first, let's start off with the A7 III. First, we're gonna to wanna to open it up and expose the USB-C slot. We're gonna to wanna to grab a USB-C cord and we're gonna to wanna to connect this to our computer. Now, I haven't tried this with um, a non-USB-C computer. Um, I'd have to do the research or in the comments, maybe you have one. Uh, let me know if it works or not, if you can get a, you know, a USB-C to USB and if it still works the same way. Um, from what I can tell, it, it does and it should. And I will possibly put a note at the bottom because I do have an extra computer that I can try out for you guys just to make sure. Um, but again, after we do that, all we're gonna do is open up Camera Live first. So open up Camera Live and cut on our camera. So both Camera Live and the camera are connected. And let's pull up the Camera Live feature. All right, it was already open, so let me re let me close it and open it back up. Okay, there we go. So right here we see that it says camera alpha A7 III via PC control. That's exactly what should happen when we have the camera connected via USB-C to the computer and we open up camera live and the camera is on, we should see this dialog uh, box uh, available with the camera that we have plugged in and right now it says active so that's beautiful that's exactly what we want to see next all we have to do is open up camera live or camera twist sorry next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to cam twist so we're just going to type in cam twist we're going to open up cam twist and let's give it a little second here boom cam twist is open 
and this is going to be pretty simple. All we need to do is we need to say it's a siphon. So it's going to siphon the data um, or whatever that means. I just know it's a siphon, <laughs> but it's going to siphon the data. And we're going to press select. And right here where it says settings, we're also going to say where we want it to be siphon siphoning the data from. And it's from camera live. At this point, everything is connected. And now you are able to use this as a webcam. We're going to jump into Facebook and prove that this is all working. And we're also going to jump into a popular uh, live streaming app, which is Wirecast. Um, and it's an industry standard software. So just to see if that uh, $700 software for live streaming and productions is actually seeing the camera as well. So now that we have everything plugged up, let's hop into Facebook and make sure it's all working. So now that we're in Facebook, um, we see there's an option for cam twist right there. So once we select the camera that we want and we put that in and we come back up here, we should have the camera available. So bow, there we are. The camera is available and you're looking at my Facebook screen and it is streaming through uh, the camera live and all that good stuff. But this is the camera. So yeah, it worked out. So yeah, let's make sure it works with a popular big brand as well. So let's look at Wirecast and I'm going to open that up now. All right, so now I'm ready to show you Wirecast. I have it all loaded up. Um, all we're gonna do in Wirecast is hit the plus symbol and there should be a new option here in system devices called Cam Twist. So once we click that Cam Twist and add it as one of our uh, options, bow, there we are again. The Cam Twist is available, so we can see it there. So let me get this camera and move it around. So there you have it. That's Camera Live and Cam Twist, a combination that will allow you to use your USB-C enabled cameras as webcams. Right now, I have only tried the EOS R and the A7 III um, because that's what I have around me right now. But I do believe it is a feature that will work with some other cameras. I think I've seen somebody use it with a GoPro even. But hey, there you go. I will say in these tests, there were some latency issues um, while I'm recording this. However, I believe it's just because I'm recording a uh, desktop screen capture right now. So it's boggling down my system a bit. But nevertheless, when I use this without any screen capturing and stuff like that going on, it works pretty smooth. It's a decent uh, setup and the latency is pretty good. So thanks for joining me today. Hope you learned something. If you do have any questions or comments, drop them below. Hey, I'm Digital Kev. Please like and subscribe and peace.